Hey everybody, it's Kent Barber here from Plugins 4D. Today I'm going to show you a new plugin called Ocean Waves. And what you can see here on the screen is the wave coming and rolling along. Uh, this also has Hot 4D enabled, so if I turn off Hot 4D, you're going to now just see the uh, example of the wave deformer coming along. It's going quite quick there. I did the animation a bit too quickly, but you can see there it's coming in and rolling along. And so I'm going to create a brand new scene now and show you kind of how you can get this kind of effect if you if you want to. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to point out that this plugin has been uh, inspired, basically uh, created initially from uh, the one from Creative Tools, CT Ocean Waves. So they created a plugin, um, well, a C4D effector about nine years ago and was recently brought to my attention uh, that it wasn't working in S26. So I updated it for S26 and you can find it here if you go to my GitHub and search for CT Ocean Waves. So you can get the Cinema 4D file there and it will give you an effector and it will give you the same thing basically except that it's running a whole lot slower because it's running uh, firstly it's running as an effector and it's running using python but if you don't want to buy my plugin you can come in and you can just use that and they in turn um created this by looking at another plugin um a wave tool plugin themselves and uh, you can see the information there so what I've done is I've uh, taken the idea of this, uh, created the C++ plugin, um, multi-threaded it, uh, and optimized a few things here and there to make it so they can run on a lot of points. So if I just have a look at this, you can see there's a lot of points there. This object has, um, let's have a look, it has 160,000. But this I've had this running interactively um, nicely on uh, about uh, 700,000 points. Polygon, so it's it's really nice and fast, and these are the limits you'll hit if you try and use that effector. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go and create a brand new project. And to use this, you just create a plane, and then under extensions, you drop in the ocean waves deformer. Place that underneath, and now we just need to give this some more resolution. So I'm going to bump that up to 500 by 500 just to show that it's um you know it works at um high resolution uh let's have a look and see how many points that is you know that's a lot of detail there and so once you've added it and added some resolution just move this up just a little bit and you'll start to see how it can create these cresting waves and you can move them along your scene like that you can also come into the setting and you can change the oh you can change the twist amount which will give that more twist you can change the width, which is the kind of the width across in the x direction here on the plane. You can make that waves waves bigger and smaller. And if you've got a looking kind of how you want, but you just want it to be kind of overall larger, you can you can adjust the scale here as well. And it still does like extra twist, but it will just make it a bit a bit bigger. Uh, and adjusting this scale here is exactly the same as if you just came into your coordinates here. So let's just have a look at what happens if I put that to 2. Okay, we can see it kind of looks like that. So if I reset back to 1, if I come into here and I just set the scale to 2, and I don't even need to do the Z, if I do the scale in the X and Y, it gets that same pattern. So that's all that scale is doing. I just found it easier to have a single slider to allow me to do this. Um, but you can come in and you can change the scale here if you don't want to use that slider. And additionally, if you want to come in here, you can adjust the Z and it'll do extra sampling. You can see it's getting more detail there. And uh, what that does is it will end up sampling the um, this texture here with some noise to give some noise to that wave. I'm just going to go back and reset this back to 1 and just do that through, through this option here. So I'm just going to bring that in. And I'm not going to worry about adding that detail horizontally uh, along the z-axis. But uh, so we've got the. You can just play around basically. Just play around with these, and you you'll get a feel for them uh, and how they work. And you can adjust this. This is the fall off that describes the fall off from this point all the way to this point for this curve. And you can play around with these if you want to. I I'm just leaving those as the defaults there. It's just there um, for extra power if you want. And then the noise is set to an FBM. Um, if you want to add, you know, if you've got a high resolution mesh, uh, lots of details, you can kind of bump this up to maybe six and you'll get, you know, a bit more detail coming in there. 
and uh, this is basically the offset. So if you find that the wave is is the sampling from the noise is you know got big holes in it or not quite how you want, you just you just adjust this to move along until it gets to something that you might want. And you might want to just even animate that yourself to have some nice kind of effect. The last option here is a bend, and that will bend it from the point on around the uh, origin of where the deformer is. And you can actually use this to drag it to the side, and you can kind of use it to bend uh, and rotate it around as well if you want to animate it that way. And I've also found that a nice way to work with this is if you bring this right out a little bit, and then don't use the bend, but again come back to this and you can start changing the rotation. And so you can rotate it that way as well to do the same thing. And a nice uh, little trick you can kind of do is also rotate it this direction and it will make the wave kind of curl in. So you can have it curling in from, from the side. And I've got too much detail there. I don't quite like that. So I'm just going to go back and change that. Uh, change that back to 5. And I'm going to give it a bit more twist around there. And curl it in like that. And you can also adjust how this works uh, by raising this up and down as well. So by a combination of of changing this in the Y direction and also rotating, you can you can have it coming in and you know and, and curling in quite nicely. If you imagine that was also now moving along and curling you'll see that you'll get some kind of animation. So let's just try and do that now very basically. So if I was out here and I set a keyframe and I come over here and I'm going to curl that across but at the same time I'm going to bring it down to about, to about there and we'll set a keyframe. And now if I was to scroll that back, how does that look? Let's just play that back. Kind of wave curls in. It's not great but you get the idea. And you can just play around with, with the, the height and the rotation of that to get the look you're after. I'm just going to undo that and bring it back to where it was with just a wave. Just going along like this. And again, I've got that. I won't go back too many times, but I'll set that back to 5, how it was in the default. And I'm just going to bring this up a little bit more twist a little bit less width and I might increase a little bit of the detail by just sampling this way and then I will bump this across to a better position that's looking okay that's kind of what I want and a little bit up so it's a wave just coming in and I've found that this works really nice with Hot4D as well. So if you come up, if you've got Hot4D installed, you can just add Hot4D, put that underneath. And we need to come in and change the ocean height down to... Well, first let's check whether which direction the wind is going. You can see it's kind of going uh, across that way, which doesn't look that great. We want it to kind of travel the same way that the, that the waves are going. So I'm going to make that 180. And now it's going the same direction that I'm going to make my wave go. And if I now change the wave height to about 5, maybe maybe 10. Well, 5 is kind of better. Kind of gives a nice undulating wave there. And if you imagine now um, selecting, selecting your ocean waves deformer, you could have this coming in coming in and curling up and crashing down that way and traveling along. So let's just try and do that now. So if I bring this across here and I'm going to go to frame 0, set that there, and then I'm going to go all the way over here, uh, frame 90, and I'm going to bring that down as well and set a keyframe there. So now it should be traveling along bringing the wave up and crashing it. 
didn't do it as much as I wanted, so I kind of want to have that a bit more. So when I get to the bottom here, I'm going to bring that right down. I want it even further, so I'm going to come here and I'm going to bring it all the way down. Even more. And I will add uh, additional um, tools to this eventually to uh, draw some handles and draw some previews of this kind of stuff so you can um, better estimate how you want this to look. So now we've got our animation there, wave coming in and crashing. Okay, so I think that's looking looking pretty good there. So that's basically it. Uh, this works in R20 through to S26 and it's supported on both Windows and OS X. And um, yeah, feel free to just uh, have a play and let me know if you have any questions or any additions uh, that you might want added to this to help you uh, better create the ocean look that you're after. Um, all right, that's it. Thanks.